One last video. I wanted to do Christmassy on the Christmas week on Eddie Hill's reviews. This is something I've never done officially on the channel. And this is the Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar 2022. We just got through opening up every day and we're going to show off each mini figures and mini builds we got. We got this little mini Republic Cruiser mock from episode one, episode two. Sorry if I have to crack myself. Republic gunship. Why not? We got the Bad Batches shuttle. That's cool. We got this Attack of the Clones Phase 2 Commander. Why not? A B1 Battle Droid. I'm always getting these with the Advent Calendar. A mini build of a Tri Fighter. Why not? <laughs> Why not? We got this little base thing with a little gun attached to it. That's kind of cool. We got a TIE Interceptor mini build. I love that. A Snow Trooper. I got myself a second version of the Snow Trooper. Ain't that cool. And of course, Summertime Darth Vader. <laughs> What's better than that, huh? We got the B-Wing Starfighter from Star Wars. And this is the B-Wing. Why not? Another ATST mini build. That's nice. We got Luke's Land Speeder here. That's cool, right? <laughs> we got this little little playset. This little mini figure playset thing you can put a minifigure on and have them playing in the sand on the beach why not we got this little speeder i think it's from uh moss eisley or coruscant i don't know which a moisture evaporator why not the ship from luke's hangar in the new hope movie a little turret from Hoth. Why not? And another little Hoth turret. And of course, we got Luke Skywalker hanging upside down in the Wampa Cave. Why not? In his Hoth gear. We got c Freepio in a Christmas sweater with his best buddy, R2-D2. Ain't that cool? See it printed on the back. That's awesome. The last Christmassy droid is R2-D2 wearing a Christmas sweater with the Rebel insignia on the back and c Freepio on the front, so he's matching with his buddy. And finally, we got the Santa Wampa droid. This is how the Santa Wampa droid would walk. He'd barely get Christmas done before daybreak. He'd be like, wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. He'd be the worst Santa, <laughs> I tell you that, because he'd be slow as a turtle. <laughs> and this is our Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar 2022 set. Is, are these things worth it if you're a Christmas, if you love Christmas on December? Yes, they are worth the money. Especially if you like Star Wars like I do when I was a kid. And I still do to, to today. This is a worthwhile set. And I highly recommend you pick one of these up next year. Especially when they come out with a new one. Because then you can do each day on Christmas and say, We're getting some epic vintage versions of Star Wars characters. Plus a Christmassy Star Wars figure to build up a Star Wars Christmas minifigure collection. And that's all there is to say for this video. If you like this video, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe, and Merry Christmas! From Eddie Hill's Reviews, and tomorrow, we're going to be reviewing this tomorrow. This is Transformers Legacy Leader Galvatron.
So stay tuned for that tomorrow. Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.